but I also don't know how much she has grown, and I don't know how much her brother has grown. But maybe you can help me out. Maybe the viewers, who are regular viewers, who have been watching for a very long time, can help us out here. They can just let us know, and then Megan will confirm exactly which leopard this is. Now, both of them have been hanging around here. I must tell you, they're, they're, they're young. Normally, they'd still be with their mother, but we're not sure what's happened to their mom. She's gone off somewhere, whether she's gone to have new cubs, whether she's moved out of this area, completely nobody really knows. But they are doing just fine all on their own. Can you believe it? They're catching smaller things. They're catching things like terrapins, which are, I suppose if you're from the States, you might know them as turtles. Like It looks like a miniature snapping turtle. But our terrapins don't get as big as that. And they don't snap at you. Though I wouldn't want to put my fingers anywhere near their mouth. I think that that would hurt. So they've been eating that. They've been catching small antelope too, baby impalas, baby common dacre, which is quite exciting. So they're slowly moving away from the things that don't normally taste as nice. Now, Carter, you're wondering how fast can a leopard run? And the answer to that is very quickly, but not for a very long time. So the charging speed of a leopard is about 24 meters per second, which is basically by the time you've blinked, it'll be at your feet. It's so quick. But at a, at, a, at a little dash, you see, they need to try and get as close to their prey as possible. They don't really run after it for a very long time, like uh, wild dogs and hyenas would possibly do, even cheetah. They have to get very close, a couple of, only a couple of meters away from their prey, and then they pounce. But that burst of speed, and if they do run a little bit, they're probably getting to about, I'd say about 60, maybe 65 kilometers an hour. But again, Leopard don't run very fast unless they're running away from something and need to get away, like a bigger, a bigger predator. And Braden, you are actually just wondering exact, exactly that. You must have read my mind, is that does a leopard have any predators? And the answer to that is yes, of course it does. See, there are many bigger animals out here. So for instance, the top dogs in terms of predators are the lions. They are much bigger than leopards. Both the males and the females are bigger. So they, these guys have got to be careful. And remember, they're in competition with each other. They're searching for the same things to eat. Though a lion, being bigger than a leopard, can take down bigger animals. So they will be going for things like giraffe and mainly buffalo and kudu and zebra, whereas a leopard would be going for an impala, which is an antelope, and, well, the various antelopes, inyala, bushback, dacre, steenbok, all those types of antelope. But... At the moment, I think this is Sean Gile. It does look like Sean Gile. Megan, have we got any word just yet? Um, Megan, have we got any word yet of confirmation of this is, is Sean Gile or not? Yeah, also, okay, so the ladies in final control also think it's Sean Gile, but I'm just double checking because I'm not 100% sure exactly. Like I said, I've been away, I've been on holiday, I went to Australia. And uh, and I wasn't sure, but she's definitely grown up a little bit. She's not as small and as dainty as what she was a couple of weeks ago, about three weeks ago. But you see, she's in the crucial part of her growing at the moment. And that's why it's important that she keeps eating, even if it is just small little meals, like a squirrel or a terrapin or a scrub hare. That's fine, as long as she keeps catching them consistently because she needs to grow now. So if she doesn't get enough food, you might find that her growth will be stunted just a little bit. And it's the same thing for her brother. And he's got a ferocious appetite. He just wants to eat all the time. And he's basically like a teenage boy, I suppose. So again, very, very important. But they're doing very, very well considering mom has been absent for quite some time. We were all a bit worried about them. But I can tell you, hunting is natural to these animals. they sort of shown a little bit by, by mom how to sort of do it, but the rest of it just comes naturally, and they are so good at hunting. Oh, leopard is running, oh, leopard is running, and I think Jamie should come and join me in the sighting because in case we have to move, she's gone behind the tree, she's seen something, what did she catch? What did she get? Maybe there was a squirrel, there she is, I think she's towards, if we go down a bit, there she is. What did she get? Now, it could have been a squirrel, it could have been a bird, 
it could have been a number of different things, but she saw it and she went into hunting mode straight away. She put her body flat on the ground and she started running straight into that thicket. I think she's got something. She see her tail's twitching slightly and she hasn't immediately come out. Maybe she did catch something. Now I'm a little bit nervous to move to try and reposition because I don't want us to lose signal. We're in a very, very bad signal spot. There she jumped up again. You can just see her tail swishing from side to side. And as you can see, leopards are very, very good at climbing trees. They are the best climbers out of the cats in Africa. There she goes, she's going up. Oh, was that the squirrel? There it goes, run squirrel, run! <laughs> That's what she was chasing. Did you see that? That is the luckiest squirrel in the world, I tell you. That is so lucky to make an escape from a leopard. My goodness, I bet that squirrel's heart is beating really quickly. Now she's probably gonna come out of that tree because there won't be anything left in there. But that was so cool to see a leopard in action. And as I was saying earlier, we were talking about leopards and hunting. Leopards are not very good hunters like the rest of the cats. So this is sometimes what we see, we actually see it quite often, is animals, the big predators, trying to catch things, but they often are not good enough. And it takes them a couple of goes before they perfect it. And even though she missed here, she would have learned a valuable lesson. And she will remember that next time and make sure she doesn't make the same mistake again that they all speak one language. Oh, there she goes. Hello, girl. She's a bit sad, but they can all speak the same language. Even if it's a bird or if it's a antelope, when they give an alarm call, they immediately know what animal it is. She, she doesn't look too thin. She's just lean, and she should be lean at this age. But she's looking good. She's definitely grown much bigger since the last time that I saw her. Now this of course is very, very far away. So if you do see the camera moving around every now and then, it's just because we are zoomed in as we can. But how cool is this that we're still able to see her? Now Bailey, you're wondering what does a leopard do at night? More things than it does during the day because leopards are predominantly nocturnal. So that means they are more active at night time. So diurnal is when animals are more active during the day. But a young leopard like this can't really afford to be sleeping too many hours during the day because she was probably a little bit hungry. So she will try and hunt whenever there is an opportunity, but there will be many rests throughout the day. And as she starts to get a bit older, she'll sleep a lot more um, during the day. But at night, they've got better eyesight than most of the animals that they're hunting. So they've got a better opportunity of being more successful at catching some prey. Now, she wouldn't be going after squirrels at night because the squirrels go and live in little holes inside the trees. So it makes it a bit difficult for her to catch something like that. So she'll move on to some scrub hares, which are, I suppose, if you know what a rabbit is, they look fairly similar or smaller antelope. My Paul, you're wondering if that squirrel would have been a small meal for that leopard. Yes, even a young leopard like this, it's just over a year old. It's really just a snack. Uh, so it wouldn't do her too much, but like I said, every bit counts because they're not very good hunters. They can go a couple of days without eating. Not because they don't want to eat, just because they haven't been able to catch anything. See, now she's just resting up a little bit, giving herself a groom and she might even have a siesta in the shade until she spots something else. Now, Ariana, speaking about what things that leopards like to eat, you're wondering what large animals do they like to hunt? So a fully grown leopard can take down, if that's a big male leopard, he can take down a baby zebra or a baby wildebeest, but typically they won't catch any antelope bigger than, I would say, an Inyala which is, I don't have a picture to show you, but maybe we'll find some in Yala. If we go and look along uh, the riverbeds, we'll probably get some. So you can find them around there. Um, so not, not massive, not like a lion that can take down a giraffe or a buffalo, an African buffalo. Those are much bigger. Leopards would not be able to take down something of that size. But they're very powerful. Remember what a leopard does when it catches its food. It doesn't just eat it on the ground. They can, of course they can, but most of the time, to try and hide it away from other predators so it doesn't get stolen. They'll take it up in their mouths and they will jump with it and put it in the fork of a tree. Now imagine, if sometimes the things that they're catching can almost weigh the same amount as them, if not a little bit more. 
That's quite amazing to be that strong, to jump from the base of a tree, climb up a very tall tree with something in their mouth that weighs almost as much as they do. I think that is very impressive. There are no other animals out here in Africa that can do that. Just the leopards, that's why they are specialists. And that's the amazing thing about nature, is that each predator has got its own, I suppose, little incredible thing that they can do that no one else can do. Lions, of course, can climb trees, so can cheetah, but they're not doing it for the same reasons as a leopard. And they, they can go up pretty well, but coming down is a different story. You always tend to see the mishaps happening when a lion goes down a tree or a cheetah comes down a tree. Now, John, you're wondering, how do leopards climb so well? I think that was the question. It's because they've got very, very powerful shoulders. They've got very sharp claws, which they'll actually use and to hook into the bark and pull themselves up once they've done a big leap. And very powerful hindquarters. But I think most of their strength is in their shoulders. So if it, to compare them to somebody that was at the gym, it would be the guys that are doing the weightlifting. Big shoulders, big muscles on their biceps. But they're incredible. But it's so difficult, of course, to keep having a view of her because she keeps disappearing behind the vegetation. But she's been wonderful so far.